Cooper with PKI Solutions. I'm going to be demonstrating how PKI Spotlight is helping organizations with their operational resilience of their PKI. And we define operational resilience as the ability to improve the uptime, availability, and recoverability of your PKIs and hardware security modules across all of your PKIs so that your higher level identity and data encryption systems are as reliable as you need for your organization. So here in PKI Spotlight, we're looking on the dashboard and I can quickly get a sense of my environment based on the number of agents. So agents are our components that sit on servers such as certificate authorities, web enrollment servers, CESCEP and NDIS. And I can quickly see that I have five agents that are online and five agents that are offline. Now this could be a transitory issue, it could be a communications issue, and we'll delve in a little deeper and take a look at what's actually going on. You can also see the roles inside of our environment. In this case, we are monitoring 10 different CAs from 10 different PKIs. So it's actually providing a lot of visibility across a number of environments. We can also see the number of events that we're seeing. Um, I can boil down, for instance, and take a look at just the error messages that are there. So let's go in and we'll take a look at the roles and agents. So this is what really helps us from an operational resilience. Is my environment working? So here on this screen, this is our agent screen, and I'm currently looking at 11 different PKIs all on a single screen. I can quickly take a look at the status of that. So if you wanna get a quick glance of operational resilience, there's no better way than to use PKI Spotlight. So here, each one of these cards represents a different server inside of my PKI environment. So I've got 11 different servers that are displayed. And then within each card, I can quickly get a status of the components that are running on there. Now, the agent that is installed on each one of these servers is exactly the same. However, the agent has intelligence to be able to determine what roles and features are actually installed. So here on my Europe issuing CA01, for instance, we can see that the host status is green, which means we're actually getting communications from our agent. And we've been getting that for the last eight weeks and four days. We can see here in uptime. And then for each of my features that are installed, Certificate Authority, Web Enrollment, NDIS, OCSP, and HSM are all operational and available at this moment. So without digging anywhere else, I can quickly see that this CA has all of its components up and running. Additionally, I can see NTDS, meaning all of the information that's needed in Active Directory is there. This is a self-promoting role, meaning that if there's multiple CAs, in the same Active Directory, they'll determine which CA should be talking to Active Directory and getting that information. I can also see for each one of these agents, the events that are going on. So we have things such as informational events, success, warnings, and error events as well. So I can quickly get a sense for the events that are happening within my environment, the roles that are operating within there, and the status of each one. So here at a glance across 11 different PKIs, I can see that we have issues with the Asia issuing CA01, my test CA, LATAM, legacy issuing CA, and US issuing CA02. So without digging into any other boxes, without jumping onto other servers, without running PKI view in multiple environments, we're getting all of this across multiple Active Directory environments, across network segmentations. We have no dependency on DCOM or PC. Now, for each one of these, I can also go in and take a look at uh, event information. So I can determine if an agent is online or offline or if a service has changed. So I can quickly tell, for instance, here in U.S. issuing CA that the agent went online. I can also take a look at things like when an agent went offline. I can filter as well and look for critical information. So if I'm looking for CA service status information, I can filter these events, CA service, and I can look across all of my CAs without digging into Event Viewer, without jumping on the other boxes. I can see every status change that's happened for any certificate authority in my environment. So here we can see US issuing CA went from a start pending to a running, whereas Blue Sky went from a running to a stop. I'm getting all of that information aggregated into one place. Now, obviously, if I'm getting notifications here, I can also get alerted. And that's really the value of PKI Spotlight. I can set up an email subscription, which is our alerting mechanism today, to send out an alert anytime that something is affecting my operations is needed. So here, let's call this one, we'll set it up for notifications for CA 
failures. And we come in here and we can send this to our administrators at Contoso.com. I'm going to set this up for events from our agents, any of our CAs, and I can select what I'd like to be notified about. So for instance, anytime something happens with our CA service, I want to be notified and create. And now we can see that we have a notification set up to automatically get sent out whenever something affects our CA service. Now I can include multiple services in that notification if I want. I can send notifications to different groups, but then in real time, I'm going to get notified the moment something happens to my components. Now, the other thing we can do is we can do a little deeper dive into the status of information. So for instance, for my HSM, I can come in and take a look at my Insight for Security World. And I can see on your issuing CA01 that that status is running, as well as operational details, such as the firmware version, the operational mode, the committee number, and I can also take a look at the modules. So for instance, how many uh, client licenses are there, um, IP address. So all of this information I would have available for any HSM that we're automatically detecting. I can also take a look at information for our OCSP server. I can see that these are running, which machines are controllers versus member servers. So very quickly, I can get a great sense of our operational resilience across any of our platforms in a single screen. Nowhere else can you get this than PKI Spotlight. Mm -hmm.